True to its name, 8 Minute Empire is a neat little game that will take you about 8 minutes to play. Now I'm going to need a little bit longer than that, but I'm going to teach you how to play 8 Minute Empire here today on Legendary Tactics. Welcome to 8 Minute Empire. I'm going to teach you how to play and hopefully uh, squeeze in an entire game into 8 minutes. This is a nice quick uh, playing one that I think uh, you'll want to check out. So anyway, uh, the game is decided by victory points as it is by most games. And uh, you can uh, score these victory points by uh, controlling a region. So uh, you see these smaller territories here. Um, if you have the most uh, combination of troops and cities in a uh, region, uh, then you control it. Now you can only have one city per region, but that's uh, beside the point. Just whoever has the most units there will control that region. That's worth one victory point per region. If you control the most regions on a continent, you also score one point for controlling the continent. And uh, you also get points for goods, which I'll, I'll touch on. Now everyone starts with three troops in the uh, main starting city here, um, which anyone can, can use uh, throughout the game. So you can never be frozen out. Um, you can always uh, add, add more troops to that uh, territory. Um, now the, the game starts with bidding, um, and this bidding is to uh, determine who the first player is. Now what you're bidding for is the choice to choose the first player because it, there's an advantage to going last in this. So I've won the bid, and so I can choose who goes first. I'm going to send the, uh, the AI opponent to be the first uh, player, and the, uh, the AI decides to make a move. And this is actually perfect to illustrate this. So you can see how uh, the AI took over three regions where they have more uh, troops. I only have the one territory left, and so the AI has one point for each region and controls the whole continent. You see the outline around the entire continent. Um, on the interface here, that uh, the victory points are right here. So uh, my opponent has four victory points. I have one victory point for the one region that I control. Uh, now you can uh, there's this uh, thing here also tracks how much uh, you have uh, available. So uh, in this case, there's three cities available. Zero have been placed. There's 18 total troops available of which three are on the board and there's 14 coins now the interesting thing is you get these coins to spend to buy cards um, but it's one-time use you don't get to uh, get a fresh uh, uh, stash of coins at a later point these coins are what you need to use for the rest of the game so you have to be careful and budget accordingly um, there's a little breakdown as to how the victory points are being scored um, and then there's also a breakdown here on goods. Now I mentioned goods earlier. You get goods when you buy the cards and you can see here on the cards there's a symbol at the top uh, half of the card which is the good. Now um, in terms of the different goods you can see uh, here the, uh, the rubies. Um, if you have one then that gives you one victory point. If you have two it gives you two, three, and then six. But you can see other resources like you know, wood and, uh, or, or carrots here, you know, it you need more cards to, to get those victory points. So to get to six victory points using carrots, you're going to need uh, eight cards purchased throughout the game that had carrots on them in order to get that. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, you want to, to kind of do your best to maximize that as well. So if I look at my car, the cards here, these are the different actions. Um, now the different um, the costs are at the bottom, so you can see this one costs zero to use, uh, one, one, two, two, and three. So the different uh, actions, and I'll go through these in more um, detail, you get a chance to see how they actually work, but uh, the boot is obviously movement, and the number is how many uh, soldiers you can move with that. Um, this uh, little portrait here means recruit, so you can recruit two more um uh, troops to uh, the central city there, the starting city, or a city that you have built. Um, and the good above it is actually a universal good. So this can be used for anything, whatever maximizes your victory points um, it can be used for. Uh, this here is an option card, so you can have a choice of either recruiting three troops or moving four. Uh, this is move five, 
um, recruit three. And then this one here allows you to move, provided you have access to these C routes. If you see these dotted lines, you can send troops over to a new continent, which obviously gives you access to more territory, less contested territory, and also control of continents, which you're going to want to uh, to have. So for me right here, I think um, this is going to be the best uh, card because it gives me a universal good and it allows me to recruit a couple more troops. Now put it into the, the Ruby category, so that's good, and I'll click on there and add a couple more troops. When you're done your turn on this interface, just go down to the bottom right and click on end turn. My opponent uh, decides to move troops and sails across the sea uh, to uh, take that continent and is up five to two. So um, just uh, so you know, the um, we're playing a two player game. There's 13 rounds and we start out with 14 coins. Uh, if it was three player, it would be 10 rounds with 11 coins to spend. Four player is eight rounds with nine coins to spend. And a five player game has seven rounds with eight coins to uh, to spend. Um, now the uh, the cities, I, we haven't seen one turn up yet. If you build a city, essentially that's a permanent troop. It kind of gives you that ability to uh, move troops away and still retain uh, control of a space. And it also acts as a spawn point if you're looking to um, to uh, to build more, uh, to recruit more troops. They can be uh, spawned out of a city that you control. So um, so yeah, basically all that uh, it, a turn is comprised of is buying a card and uh, you take an action, you get the goods um, and that go over here and you, you take your action and uh, you go from there. Now the one um, that we haven't seen is, is uh, destroy troops. There's also, uh, in addition to building a city, recruiting and moving, um, there's also a destroy troops card where you can remove uh, troops from any faction uh, from anywhere on the board. So um, those are the ones that uh, uh, you're going to want to uh, take advantage of if you can uh, if you can do so, if the timing's good. Um, and uh, yeah, so basically that is the game. And I'll just play out the, the rest of this game and, and uh, you can watch. So I have, uh, we both have 12 coins. So I've got some, um, some troops here. Um... Uh, you know what, I like the idea of recruiting a lot in the early game, but actually, you know what, I'm going to spread out this time. I'm going to take a troop from here, troop from here. Now, if you move into a space which has uh, an enemy soldier in it and you're even, then no one controls that region. It's just like it was uh, empty. And uh, so I'm going to go to here as well. And that's good. I think that's everything I can do. Uh, you can also move your troops repeatedly with the same movement card. So I happen to move four troops one, but that doesn't necessarily have to be the case. And as you can see, the cards slide across. So the cards that are on the far right start out more expensive, but they gradually move to be uh, less so. Now, um, I'm thinking that I need to probably, so you can see... Uh, my opponent has really gone all in on getting to the different continents. So I'm going to skip across to, oh, and this is what uh, I just, I needed to get not just a movement card, but a, um, a movement card with the, the sailboat on it. So that's moved by land uh, or water, water, water or land or land or sea. So in this case, I think my best move really is to just add more um, recruits there because um, until I see one where I can uh, move by sea, and there it is, it's going to cost me three though to use it. So that's a little bit steep. I'm going to get into position here with, um, I'm going to set myself up, I think, to make sure I can cross over into these these other uh, continents here. So I'm gonna move here, and then I'm gonna move this guy. So you can see I'm moving multiple uh, spaces here and taking over this continent, so no one's gonna be able to, to budge budge me. And there uh, you can see the, the uh, build castle, uh, build city card, sorry, it has uh, just arrived on the, uh, on the tableau there. So that is not a bad one to have. Oh man, these are expensive. 
Um, I'm going to um, move by C, and I'm going to hope to get a city card on some of these. So then I can um, hopefully um, get uh, a base established on the other continents here. And that's going to allow me to expand properly here. Okay, so this building of cities is nice and cheap now, so I'm going to build right there. And uh, now I have a, a, the ability to recruit from that spot. All right. Now you can also see there's a destroy troops uh, card here. Um, this one uh, you can uh, um, both uh, destroy and recruit <laughs> by the looks of it. Um, I'm going to uh, select this player and destroy that troop. And I'm going to recruit a troop. And actually, you know what? I'm going to recruit him on my, out of my new city, so then I can expand. So I'm looking to take over that continent now, which is great. Um, it looks like uh, my opponent sees what I'm up to, though. So I also have to pay attention to the goods uh, as well and see which ones are going to net me, you know, great uh, victory points. Now, I only have six coins left, though, so I'm probably going to uh, be... A bit forced to use my to use my uh, um, movement here um, by that cheap card because it was free um, and I'm gonna kind of not block his troop there but I'm going to make it a little more difficult um, for my opponent to get any sort of a foothold and it looks like my opponent shifted back to the main uh, area now now we're down to six coins uh, each so um, this is uh, now we're around nine out of 13 the round count is is uh, at the top left so uh, let's see um, I'm gonna probably I build a city maybe no that's gonna be too expensive um, I think I'm going to just continue to move huh this is a bit tricky because I don't have a lot of... I feel like I don't have enough uh, soldiers to do much of anything here. All right. Um, so let's... Uh, hmm. I'm going to I'm gonna have to spend and build a city. There's just not a valuable move there. So a uh, valuable move otherwise. So... All right. There we go. There's some recruiting cards. But I've only got four coins left. Round 10 out of 13. Um, I'm going to just take this. I'm going to move this troop there. And this troop uh, is going to move there. And we've taken away the control of the continent from my opponent. So we're just edging edging out my opponent here. And, oh, there's another universal good. That's just super expensive. <laughs> okay. So we can build a city um, and, or destroy troops. So um, I'm going to destroy, I'm going to, uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to take away this troop here. And then that removes that continent from, uh, from my opponent's control. Now my opponent's probably going to react to that. We'll see. All right. And oh, finally I can recruit some uh, troops here um, so I can hold on to my ill-gotten gains. Um, I'm going to... should I go for three or two? There's only one... Uh, there's only really a couple rounds left here so I'm probably going to... well I've got four coins. I'm probably going to um, take the ruby because that's going to mean more, more points on the good side for me. I'm going to Move back into the central land. And I might snag that. This is the last round, so I, I might just snag this universal good, because that's going to give me four rubies. That is a big jump in points. And now I can um, move. So I'm going to actually maybe I'm going to move and take this continent here. And that uh, establishes me there. 
and um, I'm going to try. Okay, I'm going to cancel out control there. Uh, I can't really. And it's kind of a one for one, <laughs> I guess, in that case. Um, there wasn't much I could do uh, about that. Let me see if I can just rework this a sec. No, it doesn't really do anything. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll just do what I originally did there. And all right. And so that is a game of Eight Minute Empire. Now it did take me a few, a little bit longer than eight minutes, but um, but that is uh, essentially the game. Now, if you do tie for whatever reason, whoever is the most coins wins. If that if that's still a tie, whoever is the most troops wins. If that's still a tie, then whoever controls the most regions wins. Um, but that, uh, to me, I think would be a pretty rare occurrence that <laughs> you'd get to that point. So there's enough going on in this uh, little game. I think you'll find it uh, a nice little quick puzzler if you, you know, you're on break at work and you got 15 minutes. This is perfect to have a quick little uh, game and and challenge yourself in a, in a fun way. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you got uh, some value out of this video. And if you did, please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe down below. And we'll see you here next time on Legendary Tactics.